Welcome back to my garage. In this episode, I'm showing you how I built my dyno. I know there's a lot of people out there dreaming about owning their own dyno. Uh, and you look online and you try to find the one and it's always uh, far too expensive. Um, I was one of those guys too before I built my own. And it was dirt cheap and it was really easy to build and it works perfectly. So first up is the roller assembly and as you can probably see it is simply a electric motor, a big electric motor. This particular unit is a uh, 110 kilowatt uh, unit. Uh, it's made by ABB, and I got it uh, from a uh, junkyard or st steel junkyard, or don't know what you exactly what you call them. But and it was basically free. Uh, all I had to do was give them back the copper copper windings inside. As you can see here, I've uh, cut a big hole in the top of it and that's where the wheel um, is in contact with the roller and I've removed the stator with the windings and all that stuff and it's basically just an empty shell with the bearings and the rotor which is the roller one great thing about doing it this way is that you have the bearing assembly with the rotor and the shell and everything in one part so you won't have to fabricate anything it's already there another great, <coughs> great thing is that you won't have to calculate the inertia of the roller uh, all I did was contact ABB and uh, they provided me with the numbers the inertia of this particular rotor or roller is uh, 2.17 uh, kilograms before you get one of these uh, motors make sure they are up to the RPM you will be spinning with your bike so this thing works uh, great for stuff with upwards of 60 horsepower. I've even had a 1200 Harley on it um, that produced around 80 and that worked fine. But I, uh, we were up to almost 4000 RPM on the roller and that's twice what it's intended for. So just try to keep it safe. <laughs> the frame. The main part of the frame is this long piece of square tubing going all the way from the motor to the front of the dyno. This piece and the piece, the same piece on the other side uh, are just there for support for your legs or floorboards. So uh, the dyno is fully functional without any, any of this stuff. It's this piece that's transferring all the load. And for my front wheel mount, it's uh, just a uh, slightly larger piece of square tubing that can slide on this piece of square tubing and it's fastened with three bolts below the deck or below the dyno. So I can loosen up these uh, three bolts and move the front wheel to the location I want and then uh, lock it down. That's about it. As I said, it's really simple and all you really need to make this is uh, a welder or someone with a welder and some skill in welding. So anyone can do this. The electronics. So the only sensor that's absolutely necessary is the RPM sensor for the roller. And mine is mounted here. It came with a nice uh, mounting hole, but I accidentally stepped on it. So I had to zip tie it to this bracket. Uh, but it's just a normal hole sensor. Uh, I think it's a camshaft sensor actually. And it registers this bolt I've um, screwed into the axle. I'm using a software called Simple Dyno, and I'll leave a link in the description to this software. Uh, it is free. 
I'm sorry to say that it's not maintained anymore and it hasn't been for uh, a few years so there's no updates so there's no updates or anything and no not really any support uh, but it works as it is and uh, it has the functionality that you need so uh, doesn't really matter uh, it is this software you can actually run without any hardware at all just connect uh, a microphone or there's instructions on the website and in the extensive manual that comes with the software uh, which uh, tells you how to use a microphone to detect the RPM a microphone and a magnet or a headphone and a magnet actually a small speaker and a magnet that's not really the best way to do it a better way is to use an Arduino as I'm doing and a hole sensor or some other pickup that's meant for picking up RPM so uh, I won't really go into detail about this software because the, the instructions and the manual is uh, so good so I don't think you need me talking about how it works uh, leave a comment if you want me to okay so that was me telling you about my dyno I'm not quite sure if this video did went that well I sure doesn't feel like it though usually when I'm filming something in the garage uh, I go out of the garage thinking it's all shit so maybe not but um, this was a particularly bad day I don't know why maybe I'm just tired I am a little tired so and this cigar this uh, La Flor Dominicana double Lijero Shisletto keeps on uh, going out on me and it isn't really that flavorful and not that strong either so uh, kind of annoying but the rum is good Bacardi 8 Anos never really had anything good from Bacardi but this one I can absolutely recommend it great stuff Maybe halfway between the plantation, I usually uh, plantation Grand Reserva. I usually drink as my daily drink, and the Mount Gay Extra Old, which is my favorite. This is in between, not that aged tasting as the uh, Mount Gay, and not that young tasting as the plantation. Okay, a little rum review and a cigar review <laughs> in the about my dino video. Leave comments. Tell me. Uh, about what you want to know that I didn't tell you about as I said it's, it is really easy it's, it's just building a simple frame and acquiring that electric motor and mounting a sensor and the getting the Arduino and the software which is free and the Arduino is basically free too or really cheap and it's really easy to set up okay thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll see you next time